Hello guys, thank you for coming back. In this video, we are going to make a really simple server for our application. So first we need to have Node.js. So we need to know whether we have Node.js already installed in our computer or not. So to check it out, so you can simply type this in the terminal. Node version. So if you have this like this, just you already have it in your computer. If not, you can simply go to Node.js official website in here, and then you can click this to download it. But now that I already have downloaded, so I head back to Terminal. So now I'm gonna uh, make the directory for our blog website. So. But I'm gonna do that in desktop directory. So I need to go to desktop first. And then in here, mkdir. And I'm gonna do this name for our application. I create blog. Uh, just any, you can choose any name you want to. So and then move into the folder we just created react blog and in here we're gonna do npm in it so this is used to set up a new or existing npm package so package name is react blog and version you can just enter it, it. Uh, like description we are gonna do react blog and entry point is index.js and test command enter 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 and you can type your name in here uh, enter and enter so now we can go to our editor just I will use the Visual Studio Code for that and then open the folder we just created, it's the React Blog. So if we see this one, we just created this by doing npm in it. So by doing this, uh, there are a lot of advantages in here. So one of them is if other people get this file so they will know by seeing package.js this one uh, which kind of dependencies so are being used for this app so we don't have any dependency yet but we will have so we are gonna download the express today to make the, our server so uh, first we will just make the index.js uh, here index.js uh, this will be our entry point for our backend app and we will also use the express to build the backend app so we will we will install the express first so to, to download that so first we will use the terminal so in here we are going to type npm install express and save. Uh, in case there are people who never used npm, it will be really confusing now as I did before too. Uh, but I hope you can just bear with the feeling and please just keep following along the course and I bet you will understand this soon because I have also learned that way rather than just trying to understand everything I am doing at the moment so I hope you can just bear with that and um, just head back to our terminal and just so we can just enter this one so if we see the package adjacent yeah we didn't have this part before but now we have so this 
means we already downloaded the express so and we can see uh, this node and modules was also installed so if we see here it's really terrifying but don't worry about that we are not gonna touch them at all just the npm will handle that um, now that we have express installed so we can use them in the server so first we will go to index.js and we will write this one const express require the reason how we can use this one is we already downloaded in here so that's why we can do like this and then we also need to make the rf so we can do like this app express okay, it's really simple and then now we need to tell our application to listen on port 5000 uh, this is a standard port for Node.js application, so we do this by writing app listen. App listen and five thousand. And now we need to do is route handling. So to see what is route handling. Of B. First, we need to go to official documentation for Express Routing. Yeah, it's always good to check out the documentation. So in here, they are introducing how we do the routing. And if we see this, we already did the Express and the app like this. And then if we see this part, yeah, they will do get. This means uh, we will do get HTTP request and we can also do post. That means uh, we will do post HTTP request. And then in here, the first argument, now this um, is letting us know where we will go. This may we will just go this part. And then second argument is the callback. This one means request and this one means response. So we're gonna get hello word as a response. So we're gonna do this uh, in our editor. So we will write app and get and first argument the routing and then second argument request and response and response send mm, we can just write hello world again or so now we are done with making a really simple server so now I want to try whether it works well or not so to try it I need to type node server index.js and then we will go to website and then we will do localhost 5000 so we will see hello world here and Thank you for watching this and then from next video so I'm gonna make it kind of faster than this one. This one is just for like basic knowledge about how we will do. So just see you later. Thank you.